Aqui na IAS, you, uh, why not a volume overload? You will say why he is asking this, but I like to, to understand why you say a pressure overload. So, for example, characteristic difference is that when we have in both end systole and end diastole the D shape of uh, the left ventricle, and we see such pressures that they move the interventricular septum to the left, then we say that we have pressure overload rather than volume overload. And also, we have significant reduction of RV function. This is something that I didn't mention before, so I mentioned it now. So there is at least moderate to severe RV dysfunction, which is also a characteristic of uh, pressure overload. If we had, of course, uh, if we could see better the RV apex from the four apical chamber view, maybe we could see the McConnell sign, which is typical that the right ventricular apex is more vigorous when the rest of the, the ventricle is actually stunned and hypokinetic. But let's see what happens next. 